not only are we talking about uh, gaming with Polygon, but Polygon is working in many industries. So this is something that I wanted to uh, point out here. So WePro deploys Falcon Industrial Supply Chain Management Platform. So a lot of people might not know this, but so WePro is um, it's an IT uh, solution service. So a lot of uh, a lot of big companies um, who use third party uh, third party services for their IT management, right? Whether it be uh, just you know service as support or inf or you know infrastructure as a service. WePro offers so much stuff. Here we go. So WePro is a global information technology consulting and outsourcing company, right? Which engages in the development of integration of solutions. It operates through the information technology services and information technology product segments. The information technology services segment provides IT and IT enabled services, which include consulting, custom application design, development, re-engineering and maintenance systems integration, package implementation, global infrastructure services, right? So huge, they're offering IT services, right? Just across the board. That's what WePro does, right? And they do that, and it, uh, it's also out of India, and they do that for a number of large organizations, right? So now you have Polygon kind of crossing these lines, right? They crossing over from just being Right, the crypto world, crypto pro, uh, you know, that crypto profile into moving into current business environments, right? So they, we got the news here that they have ongoing work with Repro, WePro. They had previous plans with DraftKings. Now again, the waters are a little muddy there right now, but they had previous work with DraftKings. Let's actually talk about this DraftKings piece real quick. Um, so what had happened was DraftKings became a validator on the Polygon network, right? Um, and then I'm just giving you sort of the overview and then we'll read it a little bit. And then um, it was later found out that Polygon or that DraftKings didn't have some of the same requirements that everybody else did. So let's talk about this. So the DraftKings Polygon Validator, right? Being a validator on Polygon's network comes with responsibilities. By design, only 100 odd entities or corporations, staking services, crypto exchanges and others may lend their computing power to the network at once. They do the work of verifying transactions on the platform. The network rewards their efforts by automatically sending them Polygon's crypto called Matic. This is the key to the process known as staking. Right, so validators stake Matic as collateral against their doing honest work and they can earn more Matic tokens. Right, this is staking. For anybody who doesn't know what staking is, that's what this is, right? So Matic owners who don't run their own validators, they can delegate those tokens to go to other people. But DraftKings was charging a hundred percent commission. So any of the uh, delegators on that validator weren't receiving Matic tokens as a reward. DraftKings taking the whole bag. <laughs> they taking the whole bag. Um, let's just let's check out this quote right here. Uh, the whole point was to set it and forget it, said Boris Mann, one such DraftKings delegator, who estimated he missed around $800 because he didn't realize the company took the whole staking reward as commission. Oof. The DraftKings validator grew to be among the Polygon ne Network's largest. So their largest validator is clearing the whole table. The project had delegated 60 million Matic tokens to help DraftKings earn more staking rewards. That's crazy. Polygon apparently wasn't concerned with letting DraftKings eat its lunch. It seems that was kind of the point. Right? So, so we got out there what DraftKings was doing, right? 
Now this right here is what Polygon was doing, right? So let's see here. There's nothing unusual about Polygon Foundation or any blockchain steward really delegating its native token to other validators. People familiar with the staking industry said, by, dele by delegating tokens to validators, foundations can pay brand partners and reward network contributors without taking a direct hit to the balance sheet. The partners benefit from the staking payouts accrued to them by using delegated tokens at the end of the day. The foundation can get those tokens back. Let's make sure I didn't miss nothing here. All right, we back. So, foundations naturally have huge treasuries, right, of their blockchain's native tokens, and they need to stake these and diversify this stake while caring about performance and centralization. But the size of the stake Polygon delegated to DraftKings, combined with the arrangement for DraftKings to take 100% of, of the rewards, is highly unusual. So, this is what we want, the special relationship. So Polygon's undisclosed allocation to DraftKings and its validators near complete reliance on Polygon undercut the blockchain company's own characterizations about the validator being like all the others. DraftKings will take its place among existing validators as an equal community member, right? That's what they said in the press release, March 2022. Right, but the statement made no mention of Polygon's strategy to delegate millions of tokens to DraftKings. At that time, it had already earmarked 10 million Matic tokens for the validator. By the end of the relationship, the grand total had grown to 60 million Matic. So Polygon gave DraftKings an extra six, like 60 million Matic on top from November 2022 until the validator's demise in mid-October 2023. DraftKings withdrew a total of 3.2 million Matic worth over just 2 million at current prices. It had amassed more in personal rewards than any other validator over that period. These rewards were possible only because of Polygon's massive delegation. Without those 60 million Matic tokens, DraftKings might have earned only 4% of what it did. Oof. What? DraftKings' earnings came at the expense of every other staker in Polygon's ecosystem. The network issues only a finite number of Matic rewards to stakers annually. At least 80% of DraftKings Polygon delegated tokens came directly from the foundation, meaning they were not previously staked. These new delegated tokens diluted how much rewards everyone else could get. Wow. So, and then uh, uh, Polygon kicked Draft. Long story short, Polygon ended up kicking DraftKings off of the uh, off of the network. So their uh, validator is uh, no longer valid. So they sent them this right due to the failing below the PIP4 performance standards for two grace periods. You will be offboarded from the network in due course. Please re please read below for more details. So they ended up kicking them off, but. They gave them like 60 million Matic tokens to start with. And then DraftKings was taking them all, was taking all the rewards and not paying nobody else. <laughs> and then they got kicked off. No comment. Hear that music? Still French.